Hello from Blues Domino. It's the great string debate. I know uh, that's what's on top of everybody's mind. What kind of string should I put on my new guitar? Well, I've got right here a 2016 Fender Stratocaster, a limited edition through Sweetwater. Uh, kind of an exclusive finish. The Sandblasted is back with a vengeance and a three-tone sunburst. It's a beauty of a guitar. I chose the Maple Neck because I didn't have a Maple Neck Fender Strat, so I figured I'd go ahead and try one of these bad boys out, and I really, really like this guitar. But this is all about the strings. So right now I'm playing with the uh, strings that came from the factory. Don't know if they're nines or tens. Usually Fender ships with a set of tens on, like a 10 through 46. Uh, their own proprietary blend of strings which is great for everybody, but uh, not what everyone else wants. So, um, my kind of favorite set of strings is the Diodaro XL Trone Flat Wounds. I like to do a set of those. I like the 10 through 48s, and then I take the, uh, you know, the wound third or G string and turn it into a 20 inch uh, plain string, not wound, just because I don't like the way the wound string bends. <laughs> Uh, things that I've noticed with the factory strings, when I'm in the higher registers, uh, you know, up beyond the seventh fret, doing some bending on the B string and even on the E string, I tend to choke it out a little bit. So I don't know if that's just an adjustment that I need to make with the neck and the fact that this has got some nice chunky fret wire on it, which is awesome. But uh, I also want to try a variety of different string sets out. And a while back, I happened to pick up something. Uh, I'm going to you know, go back to my old reliable Ernie Balls, but this time we're going to go ahead and try the Ernie Ball uh, Slinky M Steel. And this set is the 11 through 48. So I'm going to go ahead and string this guitar with that. I debated for a while with myself about what style of string set I'm going to put on. Do I put on my old reliable... Uh, Diodaro XL Chromes, the flat wound strings that sound great, especially when you tune it a half step down. I'm thinking, you know what, I want a guitar that I can keep at standard tuning, but I want something a little chunkier, a little thicker in sound, a little uh, meatier on the on the finger feel. Seems like I, I tend to choke out a little bit on these uh, factory 10s or 9s or whatever they are. So we're going to go ahead and string it up with that, but first, of course, you want a little comparison. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, right now I'm playing through a Fender, just a uh, good old uh, Blues Junior, and uh, we'll go with this. <laughs> So we'll go ahead and restring with the new set and we'll pick it up where we left off. So here's to you. Hello again from Blues Domino. I originally planned on doing part two with a different set of strings and I did and I filmed that and I played with the strings for about four or five hours. It just didn't feel right. I wanted to have a set of strings uh, to replace the factories. Had a a uh, set of Ernie Ball Slinky M Steel 11 through 48. Uh, put those on, tuned it up, was in standard tuning. Just felt a little too tight for me. So um, I, I liked those strings. Um, they kind of have a nice snap to them. They definitely have a little bit more gain, a little bit more punch to them. But after about four or five hours of playing with them, I ended up blowing out the D string, which is kind of bizarre. I don't know what happened there. It kind of happened at the uh, about where they always do. They either snap, it seems like, at the string tree 
or uh, at the nut or they snap at the bent saddle on these strats and that's where it was is at the saddle that it blew out so I don't know if I just was playing a little rough if I've got a little bit of a burr or whatever the story is I'll keep an eye on that as I play through this guitar but uh, you know all along I was playing it and I decided it just isn't it's not me it's not what I want and that's the beautiful thing about guitars and strings and amps and pedals and all of those good things is they're all a uh, tool if you will for your voice to be heard for your tone what you prefer to feel and uh, what you prefer to play I'm a kind of a blues kind of rock guy and I like the feel and the sound and the playability and the durability and the length uh, that I get out of a set of strings the Deodaro XL Proms said it before you've probably seen some of my other videos where that's the set for blues domino but anyhow I'm here to reiterate it is I was going to do standard tuning but you know what this sucker just sounds great drop down a half a step so uh, enough mumbo jumbo here's part two play you a little bit of some tonage playing again in a different room so it's going to sound a little different the amp is set up a little bit differently and uh you know, in the different room, I've got some different neon lights. So I get a little bit more buzz out of it. But this is just this guitar straight in to a Fender Blues Junior. And here we go. So I hope you enjoy it. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, do so for more updates like this and many others. If you have any ideas or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And thanks again for checking it out. Here we go. Mm -hmm.